Hey everybody, it's Heisen Nerd here, alongside Ikora. We are here tonight with Saturday Hall number 27, uh, really getting up there. If you don't know, this is where we go around through the week and we do orders and we run around just to different places, Hot Topic, Barnes and Nobles, uh, Books a Million, and GameStop, you name it. And we pick up things throughout the week, save them for Saturday, and we open them, you know, show everybody at the same time we get to see it. So, first off, um, we got a Christmas card from oh. our good friend, <laughs> Mander McFlander, and she has started making buttons, and she sent us each a little Mander McFlander button. If you know her channel, we will link it in the description below. Uh, this is her, like, little logo for her channel. So, I really I like it. It's um, M M with a, like a bloody handprint reminds me of the bloody handprint that Tom Hanks put on puts on Wilson on his oh. volleyball <laughs> but I really like that so thank you Amanda that's going on the nerd bag for sure and the first pop that I got if you remember seeing last week's haul um, Alicia ended up getting some Star Wars pops and then we found them for a really good deal also so I was like I'm not passing up on that so the first one is the Boosh Princess Leia and I remember having the action figure as a kid with like the removable helmet and underneath is you know obviously Princess Leia and it's so cool so I was really happy to also include this into my new growing Star Wars collection I'm actually getting up there with Star Wars pops now I'm really excited huge fan of the movies and since seeing the new one you know, she's really in there Master Spring alright there we go after seeing the new movie, I am totally addicted, but she's got her staff and her thermal detonator she pulls out in, oh, that's Return of the Jedi, isn't it? The very beginning when she comes in to save Han Solo for Frozen and Carbonite. Yeah. So that is definitely one I had to have for my collection. <clears throat> uh, one that I got in an order is uh, Luke Skywalker, uh, Skywalker X-Wing pilot. This thing is awesome. So he's gonna be really cool. I still need. I'll have three Leias and three Hans and two Luke. So I need to get one more Luke. You need to get that Tatooine Luke. I actually got one in here from that collection. So I'll show you the picture on the back of what Tatooine Luke Skywalker looks like if you haven't seen him yet. But while she's doing that, here, oh, Tatooine Luke is actually on this box too. So there's Tatooine Luke. I have one more in this set coming up. <laughs> but I really love all of these. Nalan Chio from the band, he's really cool. Yeah, I think they make the whole band. The helmets are really cool on them. Yeah, there. I love the visor. The visor over the head is my favorite thing. But the helmet itself is excellent. And that's just iconic Luke. You know, this is like him from A New Hope, taking down the Death Star. I love it. Alright, next for me is another X-Wing pilot, but it is from the new movie, and you remember if, uh, from last haul, she got this one as well. It is Poe Dameron. Now, they do make a Walmart exclusive unhelmeted, and they call it unmasked, unhelmeted, non-pilot Poe Dameron that we really want to find. But for now, since he is such an amazing character in the new movie, I needed myself Poe Dameron. He was one of the few of the new characters that I didn't have of the first wave. I know they're making a second wave of Force Awakens pops. I like how his helmet's different than his helmet Lucas is really really cool. It's black. This one's white, and it's got that scar under his eye too, which I really like. And let's see. Out of this set, other than a couple stormtroopers, the only ones I really want to get the main characters I'm missing are BB-8 and Chewbacca. So that's really cool. There's the that's Wave One. They do have a Wave Two coming out. That's like Admiral Akbar, Princess Leia. Uh, Han Solo. So, definitely gonna have to check that out. Okay. Up next, I got, and it came in an envelope. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a manila envelope. They sent a pop in an envelope. And uh, it's pr regular Princess Leia with the, the bonds, but this box is completely like annihilated. This is the box after I bent it into place and fixed it yeah, as it best as I could. Completely. It was completely smashed. I can't. I'll be surprised if she's in like good condition because of how smashed the box, or the, not the box, but the envelope.
her <laughs> that's cool She's though. The hair the hair buns are really epic. Yeah. There's another iconic one from A New Hope. I really like her. She's cool. Boosh Leia was my favorite, but you can't go wrong with classic, the classic really Bond Leia. Princess Leia. Where, oh, help me Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> and then the Slave Leia that she has too is epic as well. So The last pop that I got was actually, um, I've been looking for some of the original ones before they become retired. And I, we were went to some random little game shop that we knew sold pops every once in a while. And in the process of looking for a couple others, I did find the Hammerhead pop vinyl from the same... Oh no, I'm sorry, that isn't the same. This is the one with the Tatooine Luke, and this is the one with the Hoth Luke. So there are two other uh, Luke Skywalkers that we don't have. And that's got Bosk, the bounty hunter, the Emperor, Biker Scout, which I want to get him to, and then the Wampa I'm planning on getting when Hot Topic does her hot cash. But Hammerhead is a really awesome like side character. Probably not too many people know too much about him, but I do remember having the action figure of him as well. And he's just one of those random aliens. And I am a, not 100% too familiar with him, but I do like his little hood on his back. He's just one of the coolest looking characters I can remember. Having that action figure as a kid, I wasn't a bad. He was the only one on the shelf. They had a bunch of the other ones that are more common. And I don't see Hammerhead around too much anymore. He uh, he was made, this one says May 23rd, 2014. So he's about to be two years old. So I definitely, won't, I'm trying to get these before they go away for good. And I think like these... These like side characters are gonna, you know, be more hard. They're gonna be a little bit more rare when they when they retire, just because they're not as familiar. With, people aren't as familiar with these guys. Um, last pop that I got. Oh yeah, yeah. finally. <laughs> Greedo. <laughs> she finally got the Greedo. He's really cool looking. This is the re-released Greedo, but it's uh, it's still awesome. I know that they've done a couple re-releases like Obi Wan Kenobi and all that, and Han Solo, the original Han Solo, but. If you're going to have Han Solo in your collection, you got to have Greedo. And I believe George Lucas did come out and say Greedo shot first. So there's the answer. <laughs> George Lucas himself said Greedo did shoot first. And in the digital remastered version, you can see Greedo's shot does go past Han's head and then Han shoots him from under the table. But he's really cool looking. I like the his head is all like bubbly. One of my favorite things about Greedo is he's such a famous character and there's so many characters in the Star Wars um, universe or galaxy or whatever that um, that are the same race. You see little Greedos all over the place running around, but he he's the iconic Greedo. Now I know there's like a specific name for their race, but you see him all over the place. If you remember in Phantom Menace, little Anakin Skywalker had a friend that was the, oh, the little, little baby tiny baby kid baby Greedo. Baby. Greedo. Yeah, so that's really cool. <laughs> Alright, so those were the pop vinyls, and if you notice a theme, <laughs> where she, you know, her, she's getting like tons, she, her collection's out, out of control. To make more room. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to put more shelves up and make more room, but we're trying to get as many as we can. My collection's starting to come around, so really excited. He, I'm glad I got him. I was second guessing myself, and then I was like, I don't know if I'll ever see him, so really glad I got um, Hammerhead. Okay. Now we did also pick up some minis today while we were running around. Ended up getting a few, we got four Hot Topic minis and Alicia ended up with three of the Nightmare Before Christmas and I ended up going ahead and getting one of the Science Fiction Series 2. Hoping that we can maybe get a Hot Topic exclusive mini out of these, so. Um, while we were on our trip, we picked up uh a Nightmare Before Christmas and a Fallout, and we got Santa, which I already had from Josh and Beth, and right. another Super Mutant. Right. So and like <laughs> I, we both already had Super Mutant. We didn't. We decided not to put it in the haul because it was just doubles right. that we already had. We didn't want to show off like the disappointing. But she does have two Super Mutants, and if you play Fallout, there's Super Mutants all over the place, so you can create a little army. <laughs> she has two minis to go with the pop. And then I was able to put Santa with my pop vinyl that I got from F-Box, so that was really cool. So as long as none of these are Santa or the same thing, like, oh yeah. I would love to see at least one of them be one of the Hot Topic exclusives, though. 
And then in this, I would like to, I, I was um, watching somebody's um, casing of a, a full Hot Topic case of the science fiction series too. And they got two of the Zoidbergs, since he's a one in six, there's two for case. And they were the bottom of the bottom six, the two middle. So that's, I picked the lightest one out of those two. So hopefully I got the Zoidberg. Alrighty. The exclusives are like the snake eating the Christmas tree, uh, looks like Nightshade Sally and Jack and maybe like a, like a, his pajamas and his nightcap. I think <laughs> I know which one I got. Is it awesome? I think it'll be pretty cool. I mean they're all going to be cool as long as you don't get duplicates. These are all 1 in 12. All the Nightmare Before Christmas series 2 are 1 okay, in 12. Okay, I got Jack. Did you? Yeah. Okay. He's the he's the action. He's not the hot topic Jack, but he he's got like his little aviator glasses. Mm -hmm. He's about ready to take off his uh, Santa. He's giving cool. Santa the year off. <laughs> <laughs> that is really cool. That's probably the one you would have wanted most that wasn't exclusive, right? I kind of oh, love okay. The Pumpkin King. Okay, I didn't realize that that was Pumpkin King. But yeah, that is awesome. Let me see him. Put this aside. Oh, that's cool. He's got his little bag of goodies. That's awesome. The paint job on his face looks perfect. I like his glasses and he seems to stand up. The bag helps him stand up really well. All right, go ahead and do another one since you got three. With a, you know, Hot Topic does it buy one, get one half off. So I just wanted to try and get one Zoidberg and help expand her Nightmare Before Christmas collection. No duplicates. Even though I wouldn't mind take, putting a jack in my collection right next to my Santa. Mm -hmm. Santa was heavy though, Let's so remember see. if you're going for the lighter ones, um, I think the Harley Quinn and maybe the snake eating the Christmas tree and Santa are the three heavies. This one feels really odd. Oh, I think <coughs> I know what I got with this one too. Is it the one that you wanted? Uh, it's cool. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. It's the uh, oh, barrel. I think barrel was the the skull. So maybe that's lock, lock, block, and barrel or something like that. Not sure, but it's. I one think of the that's lock. Kids. I think the little, the, the little devil kid was lock. But mm -hmm. correct me if I'm wrong. He's cool. He is really cool. And for anybody, oh, he's got his like fingers crossed behind his back. <laughs> Does he yeah. remember when they make him promise? Yeah. I think it's Jack. If you haven't seen this set. This is the bo the back of the box with the Hot Topic exclusives included because they do make obviously the ones that aren't Hot Topic exclusives and they are all 1 in 12s, even the three exclusives are 1 in 12 so he's really cool. These are my favorite characters like when I first saw this as a kid I liked the, the little kids the most. Oh, is he going to stand? Yeah. Alright, you want me to do mine? Alright, let's see if my chart and my research did me did me good here. I wouldn't mind. <clears throat> I do have the Hot Topic Lilu with the multi pass. Thanks to Josh and Beth. <laughs> but let's see if I got the Zoidberg. So I'll be one one shy of those exclusives as well. And then I'll obviously the hardest one is going to be the Gold Bender because he's one in seventy two. But <clears throat> let's see. I haven't gotten any of these science fiction series twos in a while, so um, no, it is one that I needed, but it is not the one that I thought it was going to be. So that's too bad, but it is cool. It's one that you already have as well, but now it makes me want to buy some more series ones so I can get his little buddy. Oh. <laughs> It is Kirk. Captain Kirk, and dang, his face is mangled. Look at that paint job on his face. <laughs> Go ahead and show him off. He's got like a slice across his chest, but it is Captain Kirk from Star Trek, and he is a 1 in 12. So apparently the chart that I made isn't 100% accurate, but I might go back and try to get the other one just in case, maybe. But that's pretty cool. We've got Captain Kirk. He is the coolest one in the new Star Trek movies, at least. And then William Shatner is always awesome as well. This one's a little heavier than those two, but I don't think as heavy as Santa was, so... 
I'd like to see the snake <clears throat> with the Christmas tree. Oh, it's Pumpkin King. Or Pumpkin King. At least you got the Jack, though. I, yeah. I really like him. Alright. Um, hmm. It's so weird. Looks a little bulky in that bag. Yeah, it's a really weird feeling. I'm not sure. I'm just going to have to open it up, I guess. Let's see I'm what's really in it. I'm not sure. Okay. Nice! Oh, cool. <laughs> it is the Hot Topic exclusive. It's the cool. snake eating the Christmas tree. So if you remember that scene, that's an epic scene. That's actually really cool. That is so <laughs> awesome. Really glad about that. That makes it all worth it. Just seeing that makes getting the uh, the Kirk when I thought it was going to be Zoidberg. Uh, he's not going to stand up. I want to see this thing. That is really cool. He reminds me of like something out of Beetlejuice, but... <laughs> Uh, and are they both Tim Burton? Mm hmm Okay, yeah. That's like the snake right out of Beetlejuice, in my opinion. But eating the silver Christmas tree, awesome. Cool. Your very first <laughs> Hot Topic exclusive. All right. So that was Saturday haul number 27. What was your favorite item? What um, is your favorite item? I mean, I was glad to get this. Heck yeah. He is awesome. Really happy to get a Mander pen. Yeah, Amanda, thank you so much for sending these to us. Really appreciate that. We got that in her uh, Christmas card. Greedo is really cool looking. I um, I love the uh, X-Wing pilots because of their helmets, but I have to say I was really excited to see that. And like to have this guy, little oddball Star Wars character not too many people know about, I'm excited to have him in my collection. So, really awesome. Uh, tell us what your favorite item was. Stay tuned for next week's haul. And um, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up. It means a lot. This is Heisenhardt out. See you later.